Hi there. In this video, I would like to refresh your memory about the first of the three compound types that we're going to be dealing with in this chapter, and that's acids. Uh, in a subsequent video, I'll be dealing with uh, ionic compounds and covalent compounds, but right now we're going to focus on the first of these acids. And I like to, uh, to help uh, remember the three compound types. I like to say that there's A for acids, a B for ionic compounds, and a C for covalent compounds. And again, in this video, we will just be dealing with acids. So here we start out with acids, and I'm going to make that a big letter A for acids. Okay, so first of all, acids are special hydrogen-containing compounds which dissociate, and the word dissociate means they break apart to form ions. And the specific type of ion that they form is the hydronium ion. And just a reminder, that a hydronium is an H3O+. That's the formula for the hydronium ion. So acids are hydrogen-containing compounds that dissociate, they break apart, to form hydronium ions when they are added to water. So just as a reminder, this is what a water molecule looks like. It's an oxygen with two hydrogens. It's a bent molecule. When an acid is put in water, it donates its hydrogen to water, and so water takes on that hydrogen and becomes positively charged. And so we end up getting an ion that looks like this with three hydrogens, one oxygen, and a positive charge. H, that's H3O positive. That's the hydronium. So. To recognize an acid, we know it's got to have hydrogen in it, and we know it has to be added to water. So if you see a compound with a hydrogen in the initial position of its formula, and it has an aqueous state indicator, and that's recall that that is an AQ, then you have an acid. So I'll give you an example of an, of an acid, one that you're probably more familiar with, HClAq. Okay? Now, there are many, many, many uh, acids that uh, will, when they are placed in water, will dissociate to give up their hydrogen to the water molecule and form hydronium. Seven of them are called strong acids. And we have to memorize these because they will be on the exam. So first of all, what does strong acid mean? Strong acid means that when we put it in water, every one of those molecules gives up its hydrogen. So we say it dissociates completely. That's what a strong acid means. It dissociates completely. So here we have an HCl molecule. And let's say that it's in the gaseous form to begin with. It's not an acid yet. And we're going to add it to water, liquid water. And what does it do? It's going to give up its hydrogen to the water molecule, form a hydronium ion, and that's going to be dissolved in water, and then the chloride ion is going to be left dissociated as well. So that's a dissociation of a hydrogen, uh, hydrogen chloride, and so we say that HCl, when it is in water, it is an acid. Now you may recall that the name of that acid is hydrochloric acid, but we're not going to worry about the names right now. We're going to deal with nomenclature later. 
Right now we just need to memorize that there are seven strong acids and we need to know their formulas and that they have an aqueous state indicator. So one of the seven is HCl and I'm going to write the other six here. There's an HBr, there's an HI with a capital I, that's three of them. There are four more. There's an HNO3. There's an H2SO4. And then the last two are HClO3 and HClO4. Okay, so those are our seven strong acids, and you have to memorize those for the exam, okay? Now, as I said, there are many, many, many acids that dissociate to form hydronium in water. Seven of them are strong acids that dissociate completely. All of the rest are considered to be weak. So, for example, we have HF. That is a weak acid. It's called hydrofluoric acid. And it's a weak acid. Now, just because it's a weak acid doesn't mean that it's not dangerous. It's very dangerous. It just means that when we put HF in water, that some of the HF molecules dissociate to give up their hydrogen, and some of them, many of them, do not. They stay stuck together and do not dissociate. So there's an example of a weak acid. Another example of a weak acid is HC2H3O2. This is called acetic acid. It happens to be the acid that is in vinegar. So, if we see an acid, and we recognize acids because they have a hydrogen in the first position, and they are aqueous, hydrogen, aqueous, if we see an acid, and it is not one of the seven strong acids that we have memorized, then we know that it must be a weak acid. So that is a quick review or refresher a quick review of acids, what they are, what they do, how we recognize them, hydrogen, aqueous, that there are seven strong ones, and these are the seven strong ones, and all the rest are considered to be weak. By the way, the names of these acids, again, we're not going to uh, deal with this until uh, we get into nomenclature, but this is hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, hydroiodic acid, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, chloric acid, and perchloric acid. Now the next video will pick up with ionic compounds and covalent compounds. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.